Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk all about skincare tips, my top five, and my journey going through acne my entire life and how I've been able to clear it up this past year. So without further ado, let's get to it. One of my biggest insecurities has always been my skin. I would be someone who would literally go even to the grocery store or the gas station with makeup on. I'd always have to have foundation or something on. It was like a safety blanket for me. One day I decided to do something about clearing up my skin. I've never really taken action towards it. I always just was like, well, I'll always put makeup on it, cover it up, whatever, it'll be great. So this past year, I kind of developed these five things that have really helped me. And although everyone's skin is different, maybe you can pull a couple of these that'll work for yourself. So here we go. Tip number one actually has a little bit of a story behind it. My sister, she's always been super comfortable with going out in public without makeup. Um, granted, she's had like this beautiful complexion, but she was like, Taylor, something that has always helped me is that when I constantly wear makeup at the gym, I noticed that I start to have breakouts. So maybe you just really take that step one and try not wearing makeup to the gym and during your workouts, which was so scary to me because I have a fitness Instagram and YouTube. So not working out with makeup on was really scary. So day one, went in, did my workout. I felt like everyone was staring at me, but by the end I was like, why was I so afraid? Because clearly people are not staring at you because you have no makeup on. It's all in your head. So step one, went in there, day one. Then I did day two, got a little more comfortable. Day three to four to five. About two weeks later, I felt like I could go more places because I felt more comfortable in the gym without wearing makeup. I was like, okay, if I can do the gym, I can go to the grocery store without makeup. So it just kind of was a snowball effect to where step two, I feel like wearing makeup constantly all the time, uh, every morning, afternoon, evening, it was just really causing my skin to freak out. Uh, so I started to wear makeup less often on a daily basis. So really I only wear makeup now when I want to dress up or when I feel like I need it. So step two is to try and not wear makeup as much. That's kind of what I've noticed with my skin. I really noticed a huge change when I stopped kind of wearing makeup all the time. So tip number three is to find someone professionally that can really help with your skin. I've been to countless dermatologists and estheticians that you know, just weren't able to help my skin until I moved here to Denver. I found Angel, Angel Aesthetics, and she has completely transformed my skin. Um, I think that she's someone that's not uh, not afraid to do the scary things at once, you know, a micro needling with a chemical peel. Um, I was afraid doing that harsh of treatments on my face at first, but after I saw the results of the very first session, I was like, oh my gosh my skin has never looked this good in my life. So it was just the best feeling to be able to find someone in my area that knows what she's doing. Um, she saw my skin, she knew what it needed and who's able to work with me on like a monthly basis to just keep improving my skin. So finding someone professionally is huge because they really can take uh, your skincare up a notch and just like completely transform your face. So that was huge for me. Uh, the treatments I've done with her are Microneedling and chemical peels. Um, we've done her after sex glow, which is um, her kind of huge facial laser treatment. And then I've also done the clear and brilliant laser. So all of those combined, I see her every six weeks and she's just been so incredible. So angel aesthetics, number three. Tip number four was probably the hardest for me because I love eggs but taking out eggs and dairy in my diet. The first step I did for a few months was take out dairy and I did notice a bit of a change, but just recently I've cut out eggs and my skin cleared up overnight. Like I'm someone who's addicted to eggs. I used to have them three times a day, probably like 12 a day. So I was highly addicted to eggs, but once I cut them out, I saw a huge change in my skin. I start, I stopped breaking out and having these random 
breakouts everywhere. Um, so dietary changes are huge. And although eggs and dairy triggered me, they might not trigger you. Like it might be gluten or sugar or it could be anything. So dietary changes are hard because food is something that we feel kind of um, connected to. And so we're like, oh my gosh, I can't give this up. But once you give up, the um, thing that's triggering your skin, it's going to be so, so, so worth it. And honestly, I don't even miss eggs now. So how I kind of figured out the dietary changes was I would take something out for a couple weeks and start to add it back in. And then that's when I would see my skin uh, like blow up. Like I would get all these random uh, blemishes everywhere. So with eggs, how I knew it was eggs, I took that out for a couple weeks and then I added it back in slowly and then my skin started to freak out. So that's really a good way to gauge if you are intolerant to some foods. So tip number five, the very last tip, is to really get to know the products you're using on your skin. Uh, you could be using something, whether it be a face wash or a foundation that is just causing your skin to freak out. Uh, so really, really get to research and know that type of makeup. One of the biggest things to make sure is that your products are not pore clogging. So a really good site to research different products is called Cause DNA. I'll link it down below. And that is about it. I wanted to keep this as simple as possible for you guys because I know there is so much information out there that it can just cause your brain to freak out. So hopefully you can take at least one or two of these tips, try them out yourself and see if they work. But without further ado, I wanna show you guys my skincare routine. Skincare routine. Skincare. Put your hair up first and foremost, and then we'll talk about the products. A lot of you guys wanna know how I do my bun. You're getting a bun tutorial too. First you yank your hair up, like so. Ow. Now, you take your chunk of hair and you twirl it like so, and then you twirl it up. For those that have been asking me how I do my makeup, I did film a makeup tutorial a couple months ago, huh, Sterling? Mm -hmm. So it's actually kind of funny if you guys want to watch it. <laughs> I'm such an expert. <laughs> okay, so first of all, if I have makeup on, I will go ahead and use Cetaphil to kind of do like a really quick rinse to take off the top layer of my makeup. Um, you can get this at any drugstore and it's just a very mild face wash. So, esthetician approved Cetaphil makeup remover. And then after that, you're going to go into your Vivint Skincare BP 3% Acne Wash. If you're someone who has acne, this will hopefully work for you because it's worked for me. It's just amazing. Um, very, very mild smell. It doesn't smell bad. It feels really good on your skin. I just love this thing. So this is my like thing. I work out and then I wash my face in the shower and then I will put Pro Heal Serum Advance. It's a vitamin C serum and I'll kind of like put it on my hand and dip it all over my face right after I wash. So out of the shower, you dry your face off and then you put this guy on. After that, you're gonna put on your lotion, which is again, Vivint Skincare. Alan and L, Alan Toy. Alan Nation is what I was <laughs> gonna say. Guys, I have not read this ever. I thought it's, I thought I had said Alanation this whole time. It's it's <laughs> Alan Toen. Who the heck names their product Alan Toen? But you know what? It works. <laughs> Sedating and hydrating lotion. Last but not least, if I have a pimple, I will put Vivint Skincare. I'm not sponsored by Vivint Skincare, I promise. <laughs> Angel, my esthetician, just literally recommended all of this to me, and it has worked for like a year. It is the best. Um, this is BP 10% gel medication acne treatment. So it's just like a spot treatment that I will put on my zits. Then if it is nighttime, I go through the same exact thing, but I will do this active serum, which is kind of like a cooling serum. And I'll use that instead of the vitamin C. I do whatever Angel tells me. <laughs> Don't we, Allie? Yes, and it's changed my life. Exactly. <laughs> the dark angel, because her treatments hurt, you know? 
So we call it the Dark Angel. Anyways, <laughs> I am digressing. Let's get to it. By the way, Cetaphil and CeraVe, if you guys are looking for a very affordable option cleanser, uh, they are some of the best. They are tried and true from estheticians, dermatologists, um, and I really like it. So there's an option for you guys. Perfect. <laughs> Ew, I'm having a bad face today. <laughs> Don't judge me, okay? Also, I got my lashes done, like, I don't know, a few months ago, and it's so hard to wash your face with lashes on. It is so hard, because you can't, I mean, you can get them lit, but they don't hold as well. So, this is gonna be interesting, because I have yet to wash my face in the sink. I always just go in the shower. So, we're about to witness some real raw shiz. Here we go! <laughs> So first you wet, and then you try not to get your bathroom a complete disaster full of water. Look how gross this looks. <laughs> this is just me wiping off my makeup. <laughs> or as Allie does it. <laughs> Who puts their eyebrows in? Who pushes them in? I saw, I started to use a washcloth. <laughs> so, so innovative of me, I know. But I'm telling you, I think it really does help clear your skin too because you're able to like rub off all that dirt and almost exfoliate at the same time. That's just kind of what I've noticed. But I just started doing it because of these stupid eyelashes. So that's why I now use a washcloth. But I actually kind of recommend it. <laughs> there's, so there's that for you. Okay, so that's step one, and obviously my skin, it's not clean yet. We still have to get it clean, clean with this. Here's the wash. Put it on like so. How's that sound? <laughs> <laughs> Should we get him a nice close up? <laughs> the thing is, like, my skincare routine is so easy. I mean, I hope this is entertaining. <laughs> Actually, this is funny because one of you guys recommended it on my Instagram, but you said to wash for a whole minute. And I used to be someone who would just like go do 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 and like rinse it off, but try and do it for a whole minute and really get in there. Right, Sterling? Yes. <laughs> That's right, whole minute. You may as well not even do it. <laughs> okay, like why does this always happen to me? I'm not even done yet here. See? Mm -hmm. Look what just came off using a washcloth. Zang. <sighs> <laughs> okay, but also though, like, I can't touch my lashes with water. Like, look what comes off still. I'm what shook. Gotta make sure all my skin is clean. Pretty clean. Check. <laughs> okay, so another thing that you guys recommended is blot your face, okay? Don't wipe it like I used to do. And then something else you guys told me was to wait like a couple minutes before putting on your serums, otherwise it like really stings and irritates your skin. So I started to wait like, I don't know, two or three minutes and that really helps. So we shall wait. <laughs> so what do you guys want to talk about? <laughs> Cause that is a uh, scary. Dude, I was watching. <laughs> <laughs> it's nighttime, you see. It's basically, well, it's 3 p.m. The sun's going down in a half hour. Might as well put on my nighttime serum. So, also, another thing you guys told me was I used to like dot it on my face, but you said don't do that because it causes spread of bacteria. <laughs> so now I have to do it the, the most annoying way. I put it in my palm and I rub it, which is harder, but you know what? I'm taking your guys' advice. All right, once again, let it dry for like two minutes so that way your skin doesn't get irritated. But this cooling serum is one of a kind. Wow, it feels so good. This is for my Spot zits, treatment. Sterling. Spot treatment. <laughs> I've had this thing for like a year. Dude, that stuff lasts for so long. It lasts for so long. The only yeah. thing is watch when it comes out of the bottle. Oh, 
Yeah. It goes on everywhere. Mm -hmm. Everywhere in the bathroom. I've had it go there, go there, go on Lily. And you just simply dot, 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 blot, blot, blot. Is that your new song? <laughs> <laughs> dot, 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 blot, blot, blot. Okay, now that's gonna dry. I know this seems like a long process actually, but it's not. It's cause we're talking. It's cause we're talking, talking your ear off. People are gonna skip all the way to the end of this. Last step, I'm stalling, so I'm waiting for this to cool. The lotion. That's really it guys. Put the lotion on, a little goes a long way. Even if it's a dry, dry climate like Colorado. Ew, why is it so quiet? Everyone puts moisturizer on so differently. <laughs> like the way you're doing it, I'm like, I've never you're done like, it like what? that. What? But you, I kinda like You that. probably do it a more logical way. I'm, I don't the, know. I think I do things weird. Cause like every time I do something like this, someone behind the someone camera will something. make a comment like that. And I'm like, oh my God, I must be doing it weird. Uh, she well, probably I'm does it. holding a camera. You can show the camera. <laughs> I go cheeks and I go up and then I come around and then I finish with chin and into neck. So it's like a. That is like, rainbows. I knew it would be some sort of routine like way. Whereas me and yeah, you, we're like, very like. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Gotta get That's downstairs exactly. on the couch. <laughs> that is my skincare routine. I hope that you guys picked at least something out of it. I know that everyone has a different skincare routine. One thing I did want to touch on really fast before we do close out this video is to let you guys know that yes, estheticians are expensive and there are options that are affordable out there. So if you don't have access to that, here are some things that I've researched on my own to kind of give to you guys. One thing is that a lot of estheticians do online consultations. So even if you're not able to go in and get their specific treatment, you can, however, have a FaceTime consultation and they can kind of tell you where to go with your skin with an affordable route. The second thing for you guys is to let you know that there are acne clinics. Um, there's a lot of them around, so maybe research the one closest to you, and it is definitely more of an affordable route to go if you are looking for some treatment. They have um, recommendations for products, what to do in that scenario. Some do chemical peels, and I think it's like $60 for um, a visit, so that's a great option. And on that note, a lot of acne clinics do have websites where they have a lot of PDFs that have tons of information on them. The last thing, I did research a ton of great YouTubers that do skincare and talk about it as well as bloggers. Um, and here are some of the channels. Beauty Within, Olana Bailey, and then James Welsh. I just thought their channels were really good because they don't just talk about one specific problem, they go into all sorts of skin problems and they give you so much information. They talk about all different products for all different skin types. So I think that you guys will really find these people useful and I will go ahead and link them in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching my skincare routine and how I've cleared my acne video. It's been such a long and tough process, but at the end of the day, it's been um, super, super, amazing to see my skin change and then also my confidence boost because I feel so much more comfortable in my own skin. I hope you liked it. Please be sure to like this video, subscribe down below for more, and I will see you in the next one.